Hey guys, Ryan Lutz here, and today I want to talk about sway bars and adjusting your sway bars and making sure they're working properly. So one thing I like to make note of is I want the sway bar to articulate left and right and forward and back just a little bit. And you want that to be free. If these are too tight, they're bound up. And then when you go through your suspension travel, the suspension might get stuck and not return how it's supposed to or get stuck up high and not come down like it's supposed to. Basically, you're not allowing your shocks to do their job because things are bound up. So the same with your sway bar, being able to move freely is the same you want with all your camber links and everything else like that. So some vehicles, different brands have little collars that go on either side here. Uh, the Agama here is bent right at the right spot to where that's not necessary, but some of them are straight out further here in which you use a little collar. And so you wanna make sure that that's, those are centered and you're able to articulate left and right. And then the other thing to make sure everything is centered is where they attach down here. So you wanna make sure as you look straight down on both sides that they are completely equal. Everything is even left to right. Symmetry is extremely important on an RC car, on all your settings, left and right. You want everything to be equal on each side. You want to make sure that they're both tight the same amount on the sway bar and you also want to make sure that these little rod ends are free and if they happen to be a little bit tight or whatnot you can simply take a set of pliers let me show you that really quick and you can pinch on either end just a quick little pinch and then you could also if needed take off the bottom screw and pinch the bottom part to make them even more free and that's the same for your upper camber links as well so that's a little tip there. Uh, another thing, say you don't have tuning options for sway bars, but you want to go to something a little bit thicker. One thing you can do is you can tighten up the rod end here just a little bit, and that will give you the effect of maybe a slightly heavier sway bar. So say you're running a 2.5, when you tighten it up, you might be able to get to like a 2.52 or something, you know, just a little bit. Or vice versa, you can also loosen it a little bit and it won't be as, as thick feeling. Um, on top of that, adjusting your sway bars, um, lighter and thicker, when to do it, whatnot. For me and how I drive, I go heavier when I feel like I go through a corner, I'm turned and it's really squatting on the rear and it feels like it's really rolling on just one rear corner. One of the setup changes I might do is go to a thicker rear sway bar. Now say I'm at a track and the rear is just very flat, the track's pretty loose, and I just really want some more rear traction. In that case, I might go to a lighter rear sway bar to allow the car to roll a little bit more. And then when we go to the front, kind of the same. If I'm at a track where it's looser and I want more steering, I feel like I want it to roll a little bit more in the corners, I'll go to a lighter front. If I'm on a track where the traction really comes up and it gets really, t the steering is getting really twitchy, one of the changes I'll make is to go up in the front sway bar. So my standard being a 2.3, I might go to a 2.4 for a main or something. I do that quite often. Just something to help mellow out the steering a little bit, make it a little bit easier to drive, make the front stay a little bit flatter. So hopefully that helped you out, guys. Uh, any questions you have, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.